Dingyun, Stellaron Hunters, Black Swan, and Asheron. What's gonna happen next? I've been wondering lately uh, what the hell uh, is gonna happen in the next part of Honkai Star Rail story. Um, this is, you could say, this is kind of a random video because I just thought of this today and I thought I might as well, um, you know, kind of vocalize my thoughts. Um, so I've been wondering, uh, obviously in the last part of the story, we know that Thingian died, quote unquote died, because I like to think that uh, we don't know for sure yet if she's dead or not, like, uh, is this gonna be uh, God of War dear Oliver, or is she dead dead, right? But um, I had this thought that um, I find it kind of weird that after, even after we fought the the big boss uh, with Jing Yan in the last part of the story, uh, I don't think we hear a lot about the characters asking like uh, Ting Yun whereabouts, except for I think one of these. I forgot if it, I forgot if it was a side quest or a main quest, but. Uh, there was a uh, quest with Yukong where you know basically we were mourning for um, Dingyun, but that's about it, right? Uh, and you could say that's basically the game wrapping up the story part of Dingyun, and she is dead, right? Uh, you could say that, but again, I'd like to think that is not true, right? Um, so that's like um, one of my prediction for next uh, part of the story where is Dingyun? I think I feel like they're gonna you know maybe explain it to us in more details about what happened right or maybe we're gonna explore even more um, and maybe somehow Stellar Hunters is gonna be involved right and Stellar Hunters is also one of the uh, predictions that I have regarding on uh, what's gonna happen next um, because obviously we o we've only seen so far um, Kafka, Blade, and Silver Wolf, right? And we have two other Stellar Hunters members, which are Sam and um, the Cat, which I forgot uh, what his name is. But we have the Cat and the Cyborg guy, um, and we don't know yet uh, about well, you know what exactly they are, or who they are, or what they do. In Star Hunters, are we gonna get them as a playable character? We don't know yet, right? But uh, I can tell you that I am very excited for this cyborg guy because he looks sick AF, right? Now, the cat, on the other hand, I think the cat is like a god or something. Like, I remember uh, Kafka like saying about, you know, this cat. I think the cat is like pre uh, predicting the future and basically telling them, oh, okay, you have to go to this planet now and then, you know, get get their problems done or whatever. Just do Southern Hunter's thing, right? Uh, but yeah, point is, um, the first the first one again was, uh, where's Tingyun? And then the second one, uh, I think we're gonna explore more about Southern Hunters about their members, maybe we're gonna have a new playable characters and so on. And then the third one, I think, is the most, uh, I guess I would say, like the most obvious one, at least compared to the other um, things that I have mentioned here, which is uh, Black Swan slash Asheron. Um, granted, we've only seen a preview of Asheron and Black Swan, right? Um, but that makes me think that uh, Black Swan or Asheron is closer than we think, right? It doesn't have to be. A, a, it doesn't. They don't. They don't have to be playable yet. But I think in terms of story, uh, I think we uh, we might be going that way. If you think about it, why would they? gave us a preview of something that is that is going to be released like 
I don't know, like six months later, right? Because apparently, apparently, it's like two. This character, those two characters are like 2.0. So yeah, again, we don't know yet, but apparently they are 2.0. So if they are 2.0, why would they give us the preview this early? You know. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's about what I think is going to happen in the next part of the story. I think the most the closest uh, is um, Black Swan slash Asheron and then I think the second closest one might be Stellar Hunters because I I'd like to know what the hell happened to Tingyun like is Tingyun alive like where is her actual body if that even exists right or if Tingyun is even a person in the first place but that theory doesn't make sense to me because when I think about it, um, like Ting Yun is like a good friend in all of, you know, Shanzo Luofu. Um, so if 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 if, if I said Ting Yun was never a person, like I feel like that's that's like the 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 big boss or whoever is controlling Ting Yun uh, would have to, you know like predict the future basically okay um the express crew is gonna come to shenzhou lofu so i is gonna be here and then you know kind of anticipate um uh those things right and i don't think the big boss could predict the future or whatever i think that's that's i think that ability is limited to fu shuan only right i believe so but yeah um yeah i mean that's about it I, I think hopefully Black Swan and Asheron is closer than we think. I would love to know what they're about. Um, I would also love if we get a new planet in the next patch. Um, that would be amazing. But yeah, I'm. You know, this is like the only gotcha game that I'm actually, uh, you know, excitedly, uh, excitingly waiting for like the next part. Um, so. I'm just very excited. I think uh, I think we have like a couple, a uh, few days left until the next patch. So uh, thank you all for listening. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.